That was the last guys, time mom tried hitting guys, me. Guys, they gave us more content. You know, here in Grantham, we like to talk about recce, we like to talk about gear, we like to talk about firearms, but if there's one thing we like to do more than anything, it's disprove politicians. And signs, motherfucker. Now before we get into disproving politicians, we of course have to thank the biggest sponsors of this channel. The biggest sponsor of the channel is who, Charlie? Desert Snoring Institute. Other side, Desert. Desert Snoring Institute. The Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, they are the people to go to. We can't thank them enough. They support the channel and they support what? Us. Science. Close enough. And of course, Primary Arms. Primary A big arms. thank you to them. Awesome optics. We love them as well. A big thank you to Primary Arms. Very base, thank you guys. Now this particular video is sponsored by Established Titles. We'll talk about them a little bit and how we're trying to take over Scotland. But let's get into some science. Now the Congresswoman has stated that the assault rifle can create a foot wide exit wound. Um, we're gonna definitely test that out. Right here we do have a ballistic dummy. The ballistic dummy is as close as we can get to a human body without using one, that's of course illegal. So this has bone, it has organs, all the substrate to get it about as close as we can get. Now, what's funny, she says assault rifle. Now, assault rifle is a funny term because it comes from Sturmgewehr, which means storm rifle, which eventually became assault rifle. So when That's you really- That's stupid. If you think of it, like, why didn't they just use English? So we have a SIG 553 Commando. To be clear, I had a little hand injury, had to, uh, fell over, over the dog, save the kid, save the dog, but uh, that's dad life. But I can have a little SIG 553 as a treat. We'll go ahead and we'll start with this bad boy. 556 from Norma Ammunition, firing military ball ammunition. Let's go ahead. If that's a if that's a foot, I'm packing a whole luggage train. I mean Okay, clearly the SIG Commando doesn't have it, but you know what? Maybe the M4 does. Let's make this work. Now she stated that in many cases the bodies aren't shown because they're they're not they, even they don't even exist anymore. I mean, clearly that one is still there. So maybe we're using the wrong assault rifle. Is yeah, that, I don't know. I think I, it's good. I think it's good we put it to the test. Uh, these are also the same people who are worried about Guam flipping over. So now we do have a literal M4A1 right here. We are firing current issued military ammunition, which is M855A1. It, it does it get any closer to an assault rifle than this? I don't know. I'm sweating goat's milk out here, so I'm just ready to do it. <sighs> Oh my God! Where'd it go? That's not possible. Yeah, I pulled a dad on me, dude. Is it a foot, Charlie? Well, let's take a look here. If we were to measure that, that's about four inches. No. Again, they're liars. So, what's that? Uh, I guess a grenade launcher. So we have an actual M203 40 millimeter grenade launcher. We're gonna be firing that, so as a quick note. Now, what's lucky is that we do have an actual HEDP round. Now we do have an actual HEDP that was made inert. So this one has no explosive in it. It is simply a clay to simulate the same weight. Now to be clear, with an HEDP, they won't detonate on close contact because they need to arm and it does take about 25 to 40 -ish feet for them to arm. So when you fire these things at near point blank range like we're about to do, they simply, you know, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so it's basically like a giant slug. That's it. 
It's in there? It's in there. Oh, should we get that on camera? I got, I'm recording. Yeah. Oh, oh, so beautiful. Out of the body. Oh, wow. Is that, <laughs> How'd is that, that get is in there? there? How'd that get that in there? That wasn't me again. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I really didn't think this was gonna go through. Does that make sense, Micah? It makes sense, because it, it did it, before. It did before. You know, if there's one thing that I know about grenade launchers, it's that they're, is unpredictable the word we're looking for? Uh, the human torso can have a 40 millimeter as a, as a As a little treat. So at this point, uh, there's not a single weapon that we've used that's created a foot wide hole. In fact, I don't know that there's any normal handheld weapon that uh, will do that actually. And let's, uh, let's get serious here, guys. You're probably not gonna find one that would do that. Um, they, it's, it's, it's mostly rhetoric and they're so I guess we're going to up the ante to larger and larger uh, weapons to see what we can do. Yeah. Okay, I guess the next up is going to be the AKM slash AK-47. We can try both of those. Next up, we have the AKM ammunition provided from Norma, 7.62 by 39. Probably the most common uh, Ow, rifle in the world, fuck. I would say. I don't think there's anything quite what like it. I can still hear your audio. Yeah, I scratched myself. The most common rifle, so this is probably going to be a good test. Charlie, yeah. I think we have the biggest wound yet. About Charlie ripped it open. Uh, we had about a wound about two fingers width. So that's about the biggest one we've had so far. Yeah. Not bad. It's, I don't know. I feel like we have other toys that can make it bigger. But again, um, you know, unlike low gas prices, the dummy's still here. It's not obliterated. It didn't go anywhere, except for earlier when it went somewhere, but it didn't go anywhere now. So uh, let's step it up. Now, of course, we have to thank the sponsor of this particular video while our slow motion camera is dead. And that is Established Titles. A big thank you to them. Now, if you're not familiar with Established Titles, there are a lot of cool things about it. Now, every time you buy into Established Titles, you get approximately one square foot of land on an estate in Edelston, Scotland. Your certificate will, of course, feature a unique plot number. And what's really cool is uh, if you're going to do this very quickly, you're actually going to get your plot right next to mine. Now, I don't know if there's a better way of taking over Scotland, but I think this is close enough. And mostly, I just don't want Kentucky Ballistics to have a bigger piece of Scotland than I do. Is that the dude who shoots ranch? That guy? Now, of course, this makes a great last minute gift. And when it comes to owning land in Scotland, there's an old Scottish tradition where landowners are called lairds and ladies. Now, you can, of course, change this on your dating profile and a couple other cool things. But to be clear, it's not like an official lordship. Now, of course, laird and lady can be on your plane ticket, can be on your credit card as a couple quick notes of what you can do with it. These make amazing last minute gifts. And there is an exclusive sale going on for Labor Day. So get yourself 10% off with discount code Grantham. So head on over to establishedtitles.com slash Grantham and check it out. A big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. And uh, the biggest part of this is that I don't want uh, Kentucky Ballistics to be a lord, which he is currently because of this. So we're gonna make sure and take that away from them. 7.62 by 5.1 M80 ball, no ammunition. Let's give it a shot. Well, we got an even better exit wound with uh, this guy than we got from the AKM. Good old 30 cal. Uh, this is, how, how big would you say this is, Charlie? Well, I guess the only thing that we can do is step it up. We're gonna use a nice and safe hunting rifle and uh, see how that works. Nice guy hunting rifle? Yeah, nice guy hunting rifle. Don't worry about him. Guy, she told you not to worry about. This is for all the people who say the uh, Second Amendment is about hunting. Yeah. Oh. Uh. So it, it's not a big exit wound, but holy crap, that entrance wound is uh, started oh, yeah. blowing it apart. You know, if the 50 cal doesn't do it, I really don't know what will. You know, the 50 is a quite a large round, so. You know, if that doesn't do it, I'm just done. Killed it, dude. Ugh, here you go. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh. You know, 
Here's the wound, exit wound from the 50. Oh, wow. A 50 cow? That's like three That's inches. So this brings up several good questions. The Congresswoman stated that it was a 12 inch or a foot wide exit wound. Clearly that's not the case. The question is, is she willfully ignorant or is she just ignorant of the fact and she's talking about it when she doesn't know? I think that's pretty bad. You shouldn't talk about things you don't understand. Was she given bad information and she didn't verify that information? Even on my little rinky dink YouTube channel here, before I put out any information, I'm quadruple checking with experts because it's important to put out good information because you don't want to be uh, seen as someone who puts out wrong information. Or the other kind of way this could go is she just willfully putting out bad information in order to sway you. Huh, I think that one might be it, but I'm only a doctor on a dinky YouTube channel. This really does present a problem for me though. Uh, when, when we have elected officials who are posting this type of information, without any checks, this is just being put out there, you're being manipulated, I hope you guys understand that. As facetious and as fun as we have with this, there is purpose behind it. So guys, as with everything, what's going to matter is not just training, but also knowledge. Mm. Make sure that you get out there and you get knowledge, mm. that you think about what type of information you're taking in, that you verify it, and that you are the informed scholar in every single way yeah. that you should be. Ladies and gentlemen, we absolutely love you guys, and when you are smart, and red, you are very cool. So guys, stay looking cool out there. We love you guys, we got nothing else for you. Final dad advice for today. I'm gonna go ahead and do it since you've been doing a lot of dad advice, oh, yeah. Charlie. I said it before and I'll say it again. I would like you guys to go out and reach out to an old friend. Go talk to them. The world is becoming increasingly more disconnected as the internet gets bigger and as we spend more time on it. Connections, that personal, kind of touch is what is lost. So get out there, reach out to those friends, and let's start recreating these communities and being kind to one another. There's not enough of it in the world. Love you guys, take care. Thank you.